Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turn is speaking to Sonita Henry about the Chelsea Detective, which is dropping March 7th on Acorn TV. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for having me. How exciting is this? You work on this project. It's a great project. I love this. This series is fantastic. What's it like that it's finally coming out? It's pretty exciting. It's very exciting. It's very exciting, especially because we shot this during something. Someone told me there was like a pandemic or something. And so (laughs) the fact that the fact that it was even made, finished, sent out there. And I mean, it's been out here in England for Mm. since February 7th. And so far, everyone seems to really like it. So I'm just... Fingers crossed, America loves it too. So here's a question I'm really excited to ask you because you went on Instagram and you were like, Chelsea Detective, I'm so excited for everyone to see it. And you worked on it for four months, I believe, right? Yeah. Four, there's four parts that people are going to see every week, a new part, okay? So here's the thing. I'm curious. This was the first thing that came to mind, Sunita. I was like, this is the first question I was really like interested in. <laughs> What would you say, like, did some episode, was it one month per episode? Did, like, one episode take two months? Like, I'm just curious. What can you tell me about that? Because I feel like four months, four episodes. I find that interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we shot a feature a month, Mm -hmm. right, basically, because we're mental. Uh, (laughs) We we shot episode two Mm. first. Yeah. And Ah. then episode one, episode three, episode four. Because we, we couldn't we couldn't get we couldn't get the the sub the subway station the tube station for when we needed it so we had to shoot two first and then one so yeah it was one episode a month absolutely everyone you know the crime drama detective people love that because people love kind of the twists and turns and people love the who done it and what happened and who did who killed who and everything is it safe to say that one of your favorite things about kind of working in that genre is what i kind of just said the the just the kind of mystery and the twists and turns because i feel like that's my favorite thing about kind of detective and dramas and crime the twists and turns there's always going to be there. The tw- yeah the twists and turns but the thing that i think i think the thing that makes the Chelsea detective slightly more interesting is not that the just the twists and the turns of who done it and 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 uh, you know human nature that we were even capable of doing this but um the fact that we find out more about their personal life mm. it's quite it's quite a personal life driven show which n- not many detective shows i i could be wrong but not many detective shows seem to do that no, they kind of just focus kind of on the story and then kind of go in and then the detectives are, yeah, like it's so funny you say that because I find some detective shows, the detectives are just kind of there solving a case and you don't really find out much about their personal lives. That's so true that you said that. Yeah, they just go to sleep in their lockers <laughs> and then come back out in the morning and they're back in the detective floor. and then that's, The yeah. chemistry between yourself and Adrian and people are going to be able to mm. see it in March 7th is spectacular. That's all I gotta say. Oh. It's spectacular. I mean, simple Dude, question: thanks. What was it like working with Adrian on this on this series? I mean, it was terrible. He's a horrible person. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, he uh, look, he makes my job really easy. I turn up. He's a delightful, gorgeous human being, mm-hmm. and I get to have fun with him and go home. Yeah. That's that's it. He made it so easy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which was, uh, you know, thankfully it worked out because I had to do my chemistry read with him via Zoom. Yeah. Wow. And then we met. Yeah, exactly. And then we met. The whole show hangs off the chemistry of the two leads. Mm -hmm. And we had to do it over a Zoom call. Mm -hmm. And then I met him for an hour for a cup of coffee before we started filming. Wow. So it could have gone really wrong. Did it feel like zero to 100, though, with this? Because you say you do a Zoom, you meet for coffee, and then... Off to the races. And then suddenly, feel, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was no, but I liked it. It was kind of, and it was COVID, and it was crazy, and no one knew what was happening or what we could do, what we couldn't do. And this was the first time he had been a lead in a show. Shockingly, um, this was the first time that I had been a lead in the show. Also shockingly, and um, you know, we we kind of just held each other up, and we were like, we can do this, we can yeah. do this. You know, we can get through this and, and get it done. And it, it just ended up just being the most 
blessed and delightful thing to to do last year. I just love when we first like we're like we don't waste any time. You know, we see him on the bicycles, the greatest thing. Yeah, and he's and he's and physically, it's just so funny because he's just so little, and <laughs> you know what I mean. And then I come in like a, a giraffe. You know, it's just yeah. I think visually also, it's just an interesting chemistry between the two. Little change of pace of the type of projects that 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 you worked on. I mean, you look at like Krypton and Star Trek, the sci-fi stuff you've worked on in the past, and then you go into like a mm. crime detective. Well, I'm just curious what the mindset is for you as an actor working on something like this compared to like a lot of the sci-fi stuff you used to work on. Is it the same thing or is it a lot different in terms of kind of mindset and preparation? No, I mean, it's 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 the same mindset and preparation. Yeah. The You know, the only difference is with sci-fi, there's a lot of, made up worlds made up mm -hmm. things that you have to remember like um you know planets and spaceships and stuff <laughs> those kind of things you have to remember um but from an acting standpoint it's it's real you you make it real you react yeah. and and that's it that's our job no absolutely yeah. Is one of the coolest things about being a storyteller that you do kind of have to that you do get to dive into kind of these different worlds and kind of transform into different like characters and personalities that is that what excites you about storytelling basically yeah i mean i have i i mean i'm sure you'll probably say you do as well but i have the greatest job in the world mm -hmm. like th that is my happy place is i get to go up you know wake up go to set and and pretend to be someone else all day but also you know you say you pretend to be someone else but you, you there's always an element of me yeah in every in every character that i do because i can only I can only be me. Yeah. I can add other layers on top of me, but it's always me at the end of the day, whether I've got gigantic eyes and I'm, you know, birthing Captain Kirk. Yeah. Or, you know, oh, no, absolutely. Or solving no, crime in Chelsea. Yeah, there's... So many different, yeah, you just, you just summed that up perfectly, the different scenarios. That was fantastic. Right. <laughs> Um, no, I'm so excited for people to see this on Acorn TV. Um, like you kind of saw, said at the beginning, I mean, you know, the U.S. is going to finally be able to see this. Um, is that an exciting kind of feeling for you that there's kind of a TV show that instantly will have new audiences like on March 7th? Like that, that's something kind of sometimes a little kind of overwhelming to think about, right? Because more people are going to instantly get a chance to see it, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's super overwhelming, especially, be especially because, Acorn TV is is so American. Mm -hmm. like, that's where their subscribers are. That's mostly who stream this, yep. the show are in America. So for this to be opening over there and millions and millions of people will be watching it. And when we were making it, we were acutely aware of the American audience, yep. which is why you've when you saw it, you've got these beautiful shots of Chelsea and yep. red buses and you know, very English looking. It's quintessentially English. Well, there's two things I love about content these days before we wrap up. I mean, one, the global access, which is amazing. The fact that I can watch content from all around the world and that people from all around the world can watch amazing content. That's like my favorite thing. But the second thing I love about it is the aesthetic, what it looks like, cinematography. I mean, this is just, this show is just stunning. Just from the beginning, I said Adrian on the bike, you see all of Chelsea. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like it's yeah, just stunning. Yeah. Those are the two standouts. Do you agree with me? The aesthetic and the global access? No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, streaming services have, have given us oh, the global access, like you're saying, that it's amazing to be able to see shows from just everywhere. Um, uh, but it is the aesthetic of our show. I like to think it's, a, it's such a pretty show. It's yeah. amazing storytelling, great acting, uh, I'm biased obviously. Um, but visually just to, I'm not just biased. To watch I'm not on the show. I'm not part of the show. It's great. Watch it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, but just to, just to see these beautiful, I mean, Chelsea is stunning just to see these beautiful streets and you've got little Adrian Scarborough you know, riding around on his little bike. It's just, or me driving my giant car. Um, yeah, it's 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 a beautiful shot. It's Amazing. beautifully shot. Absolutely. Yeah. So Nina, thank you so much for your time. And everyone's going to be able to see it, the premiere March 7th at Acorn TV. Thank you so much for your time. This was great chatting with you. No, oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. This has been PD Beats from Pop Turner, speaking to Sunita Henry about The Chelsea Detective, March 7th, premiering on Acorn TV. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.
This has been an Autograph Communications production.